Okay, with the broken finger method, it's going to be essentially uh, what Ray taught, but now it's going to be uh, changed based on the broken finger. Nothing is cut in stone. First thing you want to do is realize that this hand is going to serve as if it's going to do a pull-up on the guitar. When it does a pull-up, you realize that the fingers naturally, and that's a key word, looking for a natural approach, the fingers naturally uh, form a opposite uh, directions. They, they form angles that are in opposite directions. So this is the same thing you're going to see with the guitar. What you want to do is pull that down onto the fingerboard. Always keep the hand very relaxed. Keep a shallow arch here. Don't, don't arch it out like that. Uh, that. That will give you, don't ever do extremes, but never, never go into extremes uh, with the hand position, with the curves. And if you uh, sense any type of uh, pain, or always stop. All right, now, uh, further, uh, when you when you uh, gain weight like I did, I, I quit smoking 30 pounds ago, so now the guitar is hanging out, and, and that doesn't help either, so uh, bear that in mind. Okay, with the arch, you're looking for a shallow arch here, and you're looking for the concept that the arch is going to give strength. If I have books, and I'm going to put books on my hand, you'll see that if I have an arch, I can press here and I'll have a lot of strength. If my hand is flat and I press, it's going to give. So bear that in mind that you don't want that. You want a slight arch and that's where your strength is coming from. So here's the natural arch. The fingers are in opposite directions. The elbow concept uh, is such that when you're finding the balance of the fingers, the elbow is a cause or it's an effect. As you move in towards the sixth string, the elbow will shift in towards the sixth string as you move towards the first string, the elbow tends to move out to compensate for the balance. The fingers are looking for a balance and they're looking for a pivot. So you have a complete pivot for every finger. When you apply this, to the first position, it gets extremely exaggerated. The first position, you're going to get an extreme exaggeration of it. Okay, in this angle, you can see the fingers landing on the tip. Okay, you can see the arch. There's a, there's a slight arch here. You can see as I shift down to the other strings that I'm maintaining that arch. I'm maintaining the uh, relaxation of the thumb. This, uh, you want to keep ex uh, extremely uh, uh, loose. There's no, there should be no tension on this at all. Okay, uh, I got that from a uh, violin teacher in, in, in uh, college. Uh, someone said that's the Russian school where there's, there's no tension on that. So what you're doing is you're placing the fingers uh, without any tension. And you can't go to the next step unless you do that. The kids today don't understand that. I don't know why. They're very smart. Uh, but they don't understand uh, that you can't go to the next step until you mastered the first step. So uh, watch out for that. Okay, so here you go. And there's the uh, arch. There's the natural arch. Uh, you can see that the fingers are, here's my pinky. 
this way, my third finger this way, my second finger this way, and my first finger this way. They're, they're counter uh, angled, if you will. Uh, the broken finger, uh, I used to have a lot more of an angle. And if you see images of, of Ray, uh, you will see he has a, a, a very uh, a distinct angle on his hand.